We are in the Mars building at Fort Ticonderoga. We have our we have some uniforms. This is just a quick a quick video. Uniforms and equipment. I'll give you a little sample of what Fort Ticonderoga has to offer. This is the first of several videos that I'll link in together as one big Ticonderoga video. Different muskets. Beautiful display case of headgear. Here we have a gorget, I do believe. Very mellow here. French Indian War College, we're always jam packed, so it's this is the light six pounder smooth bore. Hey, we have a tourist. Let's ask this. This is a light three pounder field piece. A little six inch howitzer. Well, here we have a few more displays. We're going to go outside, follow the lovely bride to the bastion walls. Now, it might be windy out here. We'll see how bad our wind is. I found a new place for my lovely wife and I to stay. Rather than a Super 8 <laughs> hotel, I'm going to set is, her up right here. Real ass right, Ritz Strom. This is right up your alley. This is, this is, and this is, this is a Molyneux special. A Molyneux special, Lisa yes, says. Yes, And, uh. It even has its own heating source. And it's, it has its own heating you would source. You call this inefficiency because you have your kitchen. <laughs> For, you okay. Know, this, this would be a suite. This a suite. Be, yes, because of the. And it's, it sleeps an size. entire family. Yes, because of the size of the room. This is a suite. Um, so. The price is a premium because you have a window. So Lisa is trying to sell Fort Ticonderoga as a real estate agent now. Mm -hmm. Now we have run into Mr. Stuart Lilly already. And, uh, we are just going to tie all these little videos together. Another, and, and, and you got some damage flooring. This is, you know, perfect for you to set up accommodations for family and friends with their travels. All right. Well, let's continue on. It's quite an amazing structure. All things considered. It really is. So this is the Mars building that was rebuilt. What are the roofs made out of? That's a shingle. Well, here we are with Goober the Traveling Bear at Fort Ticonderoga. And we are near the King's Gardens. And we are about to go on the boat cruise. And hopefully Lisa, who's walking towards the boat, will not throw the traveling bear in the water. Well, here we are in the, in the barn, whatever it's called, to build the boats, the back tow. 
and Goober the Traveling Bear is here. And of course, uh, every calendar he sells this fall, a dollar or so goes to help Fort Ticonderoga. So, today there's no one in here working on the boat, but you see they already have the outline for it to start production. And this will be made in the same way it would have been made in 1750-ish. Same type of tools. And uh, quite impressive everything they do here at Fort Ticonderoga. Alright, well, I've had pictures of this. This is the Powell house. And let me tell you, they got that grant. There was a time there was cows walking through this building. And it's incredible in just a few years' time how well it looks. Now, I have some pretty good wind out here, so I don't know how bad the audio will be. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. So, the pavilion begun in 1826. It's gone through the entire restoration process. And after our boat cruise, we're going to be doing a video of the King's Gardens. But right now, and hopefully the wind isn't too bad. And let me just shout this out. I'm going to be linking all these different Ticonderoga videos together. And I do not really edit my stuff. I'm just throwing out raw, historic feeds of these things. Uh, one of the best video channels, which I talk about quite often, is VA Travels on YouTube, run by Chris. And he does uh, editing, and he does a really good job. So, I'm probably 40 years older than he is. So maybe in time he will come back to these sites that I do these rough videos and he'll do his magic and make them even better videos that he makes. So there's a really neat history plaque over here on the French Indian War prior to the French Indian War. I'm going to pause the camera. We're going to zap that off. Okay, near here on July 30th, 1609, Samuel de Chaplain, who this lake is named after, aided by two Frenchmen and Huron Montegan's allies defeated a band of Iroquois, Iroquois warriors here. 1609. So, we're... Uh, We've lost uh, Lisa, my wife. She is gone. There she is. Wow. Honey, wave. All right, stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and uh, we'll see if Goober the Traveling Bear shows up on the USS Carry On. Little so a nice, peaceful journey throughout part of this cruise here. Uh, it did as long as I let me know, and I'll be happy to help you. Uh, but otherwise, welcome aboard. You may have noticed the name of this saw some waterfalls in town at that park. That is right where they... Well, we are at Fort Ticonderoga and we are at the site of where the French held off the British and the Highlanders and the Provincials at the Battle of Carry On. And accompanying me is, yes, once again, the Traveling Bear. So we're going to hit a few spots. Lisa, my lovely wife, is actually in the car. So this is probably going to be about a three minute video. And we're just going to hit the highlights. So when you're here, when you're here, Fort Ticonderoga, 
there is a walking path that takes you through the French lines. However, it's through the woods. I've done it twice and it's interesting. Um, there's Montcalm Cross and our French lines. Built by troops under General Montcalm, July 6th through the 7th. So this is the battlefield and these are the entrenchments. Now they would have had fallen trees, abatis, sort of like the uh, barbed wire of the time period with sharpened uh, stakes of the tree branches. Now over here is the monument to the Highlanders. The Highlanders were way over here on the British left flank and they did break through but they were driven back. But they uh, they fought a gallant battle trying to uh, take these French works. So we're gonna walk over here to this monument. And in the past, there's been stuff inside when I visited. So nothing in there right now, but uh, there's been times I've seen flowers placed in there. So that's really, uh, the breastworks are really neat. We're going to head up to Mount Defiance next. And of course, I'm, you're going to be watching all these videos tied in together. And hopefully you won't be too bored. Please subscribe. Hit like. My videos are rough. If you want to see really good edited videos, go see JD and his history channel. Or Chris on his VA uh, travels video. JD has history underground. So. We've had a beautiful day here at Fort Ty. The entire staff is phenomenal. Going to close this out. We'll come back to Mount Defiance. Well, here we are, the top of Mount Defiance. Beautiful scenery. We have some wind. Hopefully, it's not going to mess up the audio. You can lob shells right down on top of. Fort Carrion. Actually, it was Fort Ticonderoga at that point. Let's go get some other uh, video from some other points of view. Well, here we are from another viewpoint. I don't know how bad the audio will be with this. We're just hoping it'll be okay. So that's about it for Mount Defiance. We have pretty bad wind here. I don't know how bad the feedback will be. So thank you, stay safe, be kind, be courteous. Oh, I forgot to add this to our video for Mount Defiance, but yes, Goober the Traveling Bear climbed the mountain and made it here too. So, you gotta visit Fort Ticonderoga. Goober the bear, who travels all over the world, says visit Fort Ty.